Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, just a quick video. Um, we're going to be installing an outside tap. Uh, there is, as you can see, there is no outside tap here, and I've literally just drilled that through. So the lads are on so Kian's hiding now. So this is the uh, garden wall patio project. Lewis is hiding up there. Jack is waiting for me, and Sean, look, he's just hiding above there. So. I'll put a link up above for the videos for to do with this. Um, but yeah, so if you've subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, there's obviously something wrong with you. It's completely free. Link's in the corner. Smash that link. Right, so what I've done, I've drained down the water uh, for this house. So I've turned the, the uh, water stop tap off. Now I've run through from the outside a pilot drill, which I've used a 12 mil STS. So you go through most of the way and then you turn it off hammer because you're going to be using your SDS, turn it off hammer and then do the last bit just basically just to, because if you don't do that, what you're going to end up with is a massive blown hole, okay? So once you've gone through with your 12 mil on there is then you can increase your size diameter again to obviously the appropriate size, which on this one's an 18 mil, okay? So once that bit's done, is now you can buy these um so you've got got obviously the pre preset length on here and then you just put your tap on top of it um so what i'm going to do is obviously sleeve all this but essentially that will come through so just push that through so it's through into the back of the kitchen unit so essentially it's going to be like that i'll quickly run you in here just quickly run through so my mains isolator is down is down here so you've got your stop tap there so that's off um, in fairness I've actually leave that one alone because you've got another one there that's after the water meter and I always find those ones don't leak whereas when you mess about with that one there's a lot more chance of it leaking than that one so that's off so we've opened up the tap there, so I'm going to open the one upstairs because then that will allow any of the rest of the remaining water to come through. And then, so there's my pipe that's come through. So this is why it's best to put a bit of tape on it because this will be cut back. Now this, this is my cold feed here, so I'm going to tap into here and then I'm going to put an isolator on straight up into there so what i'm going to do i'm going to take that back out sleeve it up and mount that up and i'll catch up with you once i've done this bit right so pipes through now now what i'm essentially going to do like i said there's water's been turned off so but you will get water still in the pipe so essentially i want to solder that there so i've marked let me try I'd rather get my fat hands in there i've marked either side of of this on the pipe which is there uh, there and there if you can see that so essentially what we're going to have is that mounted up I don't know if you can see that properly to be fair but so that is going to be sort of like that um, trying to make this as clear as possible for you guys um, and then like Jack's just asked me which I'll, about why do we put isolators on but I'll explain that um, once I've all mounted it all up, it makes life a lot easier. So we're just going to cut all that through now. So with the pipe slices, right in the centre there, there's a centre line, which is where the blade is, essentially. So I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it properly. It's it's tricky, but you get the gist of it. Like I say, there will be water in here because obviously it's coming down from all the other rest of the pipes and all the rest of it. That's why it's always best to have a tub there. But you need that water out. You can use push fit if you want, but I prefer solder joints. I always think they're a better job. Just 
Okay. So the trick is now trying to get that out without spilling anything. Chuck an old rag underneath. Just to catch what's left. sink dude. I've got Jack here helping me to be fair. So it does make life a bit easier. Now you do need to make sure the water's out as it's not going to solder uh, in there so ultimately you've got to you got to let that go. And hopefully there's not too much in there. So what I've done now is, I don't know if you can tell, but I've pushed that down slightly. So it's forcing, obviously, the gravity to push that back down that way. And then the same on this one. Get rid of that. Okay, so then you get your wire wool. This is actually a very, very fine wire wool, and realistically, it probably would have been it's easier with a, a more of a coarse wire wool, but that's basically what we've got today. Okay, so we've got well, nearly got our clean edges on there because then you can solder. So, just need a bit of uh, bit of kitchen towel. So I always find you're better off just to sort of dry fit everything in there. Okay. So then so on the isolators, look, so you've got on there, there's an arrow, directional arrow, and that's the direction of water flow. So you, so in this instance, we need it uphill because it's going to come out of here and out that way, not to put it on, on the upside down position. So we'll mount that up. We'll get that. Uh, so did you not know that, Jack? No, oh, I didn't know that. There you go. I, don't know what, I, I obviously haven't been teaching him very well. So that would be on like that, and then we're going to need a 90, hold a 90 mate. Yeah. So again, offer it all up. So that's going to be like that. And if you cut me one. Five mil would be perfect. There you go. So we'll slide that in there. Okay, and then we'll sort of keep it to one side, make sure it's nice and level. And then you mark that up, and then you can cut that. I'm going to measure that because that looks a little bit long. 
Uh, pipe slice mate. Okay, so now we know they're all going to work, all dry fitted, so we're all okay with that. So what I'll do now is I'm going to tighten these two up, so that's that fixed in one position, and then I'm going to flux all this up, and then we're ready for soldering. So all we've got to do here is just use, use your grips. You can put a bit of jointing compound on if you want. You've got a flat blade there, Jack. Thank you. So so basically a bit of jointing compound on there doesn't hurt. So, so a bit of... So that's basically the jointing compound. So, so just work a little bit of that on on the threads on there, and what it would do. I mean, the it probably wouldn't leak anyway, but it's always just best just to put a little bit on, and it's just peace of mind then. So put that back in there, and then wipe off any of the excess once you're all you're all done. When I said it's probably going to be a short video, it's probably longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's uh, like a feature length film, so I hope you've got a cup of tea on. So then same again this end. Trousers are for very expensive trousers to use them as a rag. But we are due to do another. I don't know the jack. I think I'm gonna let Jack in on this little secret now. Is yes, we're due to do a video involving Jack, where we've been asked by a college to do some like a Q and A sort of thing. Uh, with the college, so that should be up very soon with involving Jack, which he doesn't know anything about until right this second. Uh, so, I'd like to keep Jack on, you know, thinking on his feet. Yeah, on wheels. Yeah, Sometimes. definitely. Mate. So, just turn your back round. You're falling over. So. I'm hoping that's not strobing, because if it is, it'd be very annoying, and I apologise if it is. So I need to take that back out. Now, so, dry all that out. Like I say, making sure all the edges are nice and clean. That That's the key with all this sort of thing, is just keeping everything nice and clean, and it will solder with tiny amount of water but if it's got full of water you've got no chance because what it's got to do it's got to heat all that up first for it to actually solder through so preferably I prefer not to have anything in there this is why you like you say you can use push fit and it's done and it is faster with push fit but it doesn't look as good so so what I do, and yes, people will moan, you put too much flux on, and yes, I agree, I always put too much on when it's to do with like this, and then I'll show you what I'll do in a second, because there's nothing more annoying having to redo it all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, fit, fit that up. Okay. 
Right, so that is all fluxed up there, yeah? Okay, so what I'll do now is get my rag. I'm gonna get my other rag face in there. So I'll clean all that excess off, okay? Because if not, it'll, it'll end up everywhere. Right, so I always start at the bottom and just gently warm it through. You see how it's just run round? If you do it at the back, you shouldn't end up seeing any of the runoff. So. at all that. Right, the only way for that is to heat that up even more. See it's not flowing now, look. Entirely sure about that joint there. And that's because there's too much water. So much easier that top is there than that bottom, so just hold that up there, Jack. So I'm not entirely convinced about that bottom one at the minute. And that's because it's got water in it. I mean, So there you are, see, like I say, it is very an honest channel. So that realistically is is because there's there's still moisture and stuff in that in that joint when I was soldering it. So I've had to heat it up more than what I would normally do to get that solder to flow all the way around. So that is really what you're looking for, like here. You see this is all on your new stuff, so there's no water up there, it's just what's sitting in there. So that's what's quite the way it happens but i'm better off just showing you rather than you know hiding it all um but yeah so what we'll do we'll we'll go and make sure the tap shut on the outside and we'll get the water on and uh show you when it's all finished right so the it's all done it's all on now like i say because there's been water in there it's it's obviously we've had to heat it up more than what we wanted to but it's you know it is what it is you can't stop once you've started that you cannot stop doing that so that's all on now one of the things that jack was asking sorry a bit close to the mic there 
was why do we fit the isolators? Now, like I said, in the winter, things freeze. So what the best thing to do is in the winter, you know, you know it's gonna be minus uh, for quite a while, is the best thing to do is turn that isolator off and open your tap on the outside. Because as you know, obviously with ice, things like that, it expands. So if your tap's already open, it can expand and just push out the end of the tap. So it's not gonna burst any pipes. And also it means you can still carry on with everything else. So I'll just show you quickly out here. So we are all sorted. So tap's on now, nice and secure. All running out, ready for the, uh, so let's say take that end off and you can put your hose on. Keeping these boys all happy now because they've got their own water supply here. So yeah, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like it and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers guys.